Hey, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get an amino occlusion pass in Redshift in Cinema 4D. So let's jump here, and if I call for my AOV manager, let's get an amino occlusion pass and go into bucket mode so we can see it, and then go to the AO pass, and of course it's black, and that's because uh, there's no information for the amino occlusion. If we go to the uh, red plastic material here, and I'm going to show you uh, that we need to get uh, AO node and plug it into the diffuse uh, channel, give Redshift a second, and you see that we are starting to get an amino occlusion pass. Obviously it's noisy, but don't mind about that. Uh, the thing here is that this is great if you need to get it uh, on a per material basis, but what if you need to get it on the whole scene? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Let me connect the diffuse uh, here back. Let's delete the AO node and go back to my uh, AOV manager. And what we need is actually a custom AOV pass. So we can call this whatever we want. I'm gonna call it AO pass. And you can see here that we can actually input uh, a material in here. So that's great because we can go into Redshift here, create a new material, and let's call this AO. And in here, we all we need is to add an AO node and connect it to the surface. And of course, uh, drag the, this in here. Let's refresh Redshift. And now if I go to my AO pass here, you can see that we get an amino occlusion pass for our whole scene.